One of the other little tricks are these road flares. And you can buy these, you can order them online, you can get them at your local auto parts store. They're just a 15 minute emergency road flare. But they are great for getting fire started. Um, so we'll, they're really easy to light. I think this will give us some extra heat and help things get started. Um, see if we can speed up this fire process. beautiful day lots of sunshine but you can almost when I put that wood around that fire you can almost feel the humidity as that wood is drying and releasing all of that moisture I think it's my initial reaction is that it's going to take a lot more heat and that we're going to have to figure a way to get it a lot hotter so it might be going to the diesel and the styrofoam and the gel so that gel can burn. It'll burn a lot longer. It'll burn on. It'll burn on wet wood. It'll. It'll just burn, pour that stuff on a rock and it'll burn. That's going to create a lot more heat. Um, we may need to go to like a, a five-gallon propane tank and a weed burner and just set the weed burner on the wood in order to get it to light. Um, I, the advantage I have in this pile is I have some other slash and I have some boards from the sawmill. Um, some of the other slash piles don't have, um, they're more just trees and just stumps. That's going to require, probably going to require that torch and the diesel fuel mixed with styrofoam and, and burning that gel. Uh, but. But just getting into this and experimenting with it is, is going to tell us a lot more. We'll kind of see what happens. But those are some of my kind of initial reactions to this, this type of fire starting and getting this burn pile going. got a really good breeze going and what I can see is you don't start with a little tiny fire you've really got to throw a whole bunch of fuel at it and really just get it going as hot as you can as fast as you can in order to get this wet uh, material this wet wood to burn um, but that's why we're here we're just we're gonna keep trying stuff and we'll figure it out you can see it's been about three hours and we haven't burned a whole lot of anything. Um, it's getting to be kind of end of the day. I think I'm going to try and, and grab the excavator and try to s fill this. Um, yeah, I guess we just, we want to hopefully leave a bunch of good hot coals. Uh, so that tomorrow when we can just when we come back we can just throw some more on it and get it going I'm, I'm at a bit of a, of a loss here I mean if this was summertime and I was trying to light this I, I would be worried about it going up too fast but this early in the spring and this material it's so wet it's just not burning
and so it was the okay. afternoon about can I, can I tell the story? Well, I want to. You want to tell the story? So we, we came out here and we fueled up the machine, right? And we greased and, it. And we greased it. And so it's the afternoon. And we fixed it. And we fixed it. And then it has trees. And then so we, it's the afternoon. Yeah. Okay. And then the can I, now can I tell the story? Yeah. Okay. This burn pile behind us is the one that I have been had this fist fight with that I could not get lit for the life of me. Part of the problem was it was uh, what we were trying to start was a lot of that cottonwood and it was really, really wet. And those cottonwood trees are like giant sponges just full of water. Um, but it's been 48 hours and two days. Hey, is that right? Has it been 48 hours? That's a, that's a head nod yes. So it's been about two days since we lit this and I am blown away. I mean, there were some giant trees in there, giant stumps, and it is all just smoldered and burnt down. And we've come over a couple of times and we kind of just tie a rope around it and cinch it down. Just keep pushing everything to the center and, and pushing it up and then let it smolder and, and burn and burn and burn. Now, we've got quite a few piles to do, uh, but I think we've got a method that works now. Um, did you want to sing? Do you want to sing on the camera? No, I want to hear you sing your song. Tomorrow, tomorrow. You want to sing? Okay, let's do it. Okay, ready? Tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow. Yeah. How's the rest of the song go? It's only a day away. Imagine and say, and only tomorrow, tomorrow, it's only a day away. Okay, that was a good song. So, the hope is that we'll, we'll just keep circling this thing, keep pushing the stumps into the middle, keep consolidating it, and It'll keep burning and what we'll end up with is just a pile of charcoal. Um, the question is what to do with that much charcoal. Um, it's a lot of charcoal. So if you're in North Idaho and you need some charcoal, um, you know, I, I guess what I'm thinking of is, is uh, my grandparents taking their, the ashes out of the fireplace and then taking them out and spreading them around the fruit trees. I don't, I don't know what that's about. Um, but if somebody needed some charcoal, um, some ash, whatever, I got tons of it. Um, also, over here, lots of cottonwood trees. Uh, Sawmill Mike, I'm hoping Sawmill Mike will be back in here. The weather's looking really good. Next week, it's looking awesome. We'll be up into the 60, 65. We might even push close to 70 next week. Um, you might actually see tears roll uh, down a grown man's cheeks. If, if we get to 70 degrees, <laughs> that would be great. We could dry this place out. Um, we could really get some stuff done, start making some progress. How's it going over there? Um, what have I learned? Uh, burning slash piles is a is a is, you got it's a patience game. It's not a light switch. You don't just flick it on and forget. And so the the thing is to it's going to take a couple of days to burn through that much material. So we're making progress and things are looking things are looking really good. Mm -hmm. 
don't know if you can see here behind me. Um, get a feel for how far away I am from the fire here. But you can see where all this grass burned. So this all happened last night on this side of the fire. Um, if this was summertime, this thing would have gone whoosh, right in the trees and lit this place on fire. I don't know why we've got so lucky here. I'm guessing it's the snow. You can see I've still got a bunch of snow here and things are a little bit wet. Um, but you definitely want to do your burning late fall when things are wet or winter time or early spring. We may have waited too long. I probably probably should have done this sooner when things were wetter and there was still snow out here. Um, but you're fighting this perpetual battle if it with you've got your burn pile and it's covered in snow and it's wet and you can't get it lit versus if everything dries out and then you start that fire uh, there's some fire danger before we lit our piles we called north side fire district and we called the county uh, sheriff and let them know exactly where we're at how many piles we were going to be burning how long we would be burning and then we've been kind of updating them hey we're still burning hey there's still smoke hey we're still lighting more so that if they get a phone call from a neighbor or if one of these piles really takes off um, and there's a concern somebody who knows somebody flies over in a plane or somebody sees some smoke from 10 miles away and they call the sheriff then the sheriff knows yes yeah, there's somebody out there and we've given them our point of contact I gave them my number so they can call me anytime and say hey are you guys burning what's going on out there um, because if we burn all of our piles and 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 then they, in a week from now they fire starts on a house next door they might call and say hey we've got a report of smoke is that you guys nope it's not us then they could respond to that it just uh, it's just easier to be able to communicate and let people know what's going on especially when it comes to these big fires better go get this little monkey and take her home Never a dull day. Sweetheart! Hi, Are you coming out here? Yeah. You having a good time? Find some puddles. You got it? Oh, you lost a boot. Do you want some help? Where'd your boot go? Right there in the mud. Well, that's no good. Let's put our boots on and let's go home. No. What do you want to do? I want to stay here and work with you. Okay. Oh, you cut your foot. Yeah. Woo. That's crazy. You got to be a tough girl to live in North Idaho, don't you? Yeah. Hey, what do you think of the fire? Good. Do you want to go get some hot dogs and some marshmallows and we'll roast some hot dogs? Yeah. Do some s'mores? Yeah. Does that sound fun? Yeah, let's do it right now. Right now, okay. If my mom can do me, you can do it. You can do it. Have you not? What? I'm gonna wash these off. You're washing your boots off? Yeah. Okay, hurry. Splash. Don't splash, you get water in your boots. Hey, you ready to go home? 